Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. And today we're moving on from OPO3 to OPO4. And the very first deck that I wanted to showcase is gonna be Green Purple Do Flamingo. And this is obviously gonna be a film deck that's playing all your favorite film cards from Green, which is the Straw Hats, and all of them from Purple with Standard Deck 5. Whoever thought that Standard Deck and uh, Standard Deck 5 would actually be useful. So this is a very fun deck. But it's a really, really difficult deck to play. And if the opponent's smart, they can also kind of play around your tank as Dolphy. So let's see how today's matchups go. We're going to go uh, two games against Rebecca. So hope you enjoy the games kind of soon. And if you do, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Rebecca. I will go second. We have the tank cars. This is weird because the Buena Fiestas are so good. Oh, they got the Coliseum already. They got the Coliseum already. I guess we can play the Fiestas and try to look for stuff. Let's go for Nami here. Return the rest. Like, these guys are not really doing anything for us after... Let's go for another Luffy. I think I, I, think I like another Luffy here. I'd rather have another Luffy here and just cheat on my cards later. We can play this Nami with the value from the Nami to start searching for the Utas and my other film cards later. Um, the blue the, the blue decks are really annoying, right? Because this this player could be playing the Red Rock or something like that. And the Red Rock are really bad against our Tankos do Flamingo. Yeah, if you want to... I mean, I'm cool with this, right? Like, again, I don't really care about these Buena Fiestas. Like, I really don't care about the Buena Fiestas. So we can go. Ooh, okay. That's uh hmm. Alright. That's a nice trigger. That's a nice trigger that the opponent got there. I mean, at least we know one came come gone gone is out, right? So that's good. They lost Rebecca and Bartolomeo. We can play this Nami, use the car action. Let's find our I guess let's find our Brook, right? This is pretty nice because we can combo out with the Luffy and the Brook to play like another. I guess it. I guess it has to be a three a three cost or less, and we have already played most of our Buena Fiestas. Um. Hmm. This Kir this Kiros is annoying, right? Because it's gonna be always sticking on the field, which is always gonna be a problem. And down to take this first hit. And this is exactly what I'm looking for, right? So I can play the Luffy plus the Uta to get multiple blockers. Which is really good for us. Okay. So. Huh. Yield to Soro is probably what I want to play this time. I'm guessing. I probably want to play this Guild to Sora this turn, right? Like, we have so many cards in our hand. And this Guild to Sora gives me so much value as well. This is probably the time to play him. And then next time we can combo out with the Luffy anyways. And have an extra Don that we can use for the Nami effect again. This is why it's good to go second. Because you're able to kind of play your cards on curve. While still having that Nami effect on the field. So I like this Guild to Soro here. Just because it's also a big 6k attack. That the opponent has to deal with. Next turn we're going to be at 8 down. And then the turn after that is when we go ahead and play our Dolphy. Right? So we can take a, we can take another attack here. before we have. I guess we have to worry about. We do have to worry about that Luffy eventually. Like that Luffy is going to be a problem. Right? That Luffy is going to be a problem eventually. Opponent needs to be careful not to attack too much when I have my 10 down play to, to play the Doflamingo. Yeah, that's the Luffy, of course. All right, I mean, I guess we'll give you the 2K here. We'll give you the 2K. You don't have enough cards to restand the Luffy. I guess they do because of their Lombos, right? So because of their Lombos, 
Yeah, they can they can go ahead and do this. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna they're actually gonna they're actually gonna restand it. Which is crazy to me, because are you really that scared of the guilt to sorrow? Hmm. Like I'm gonna let this go like this, right? Like, are you really that scared of the guilt to sorrow? I can let them kill this Nami. Which is obviously a problem in my opinion. Or I could just play this Uta. And then play the Thunder Bagua. Okay, they didn't even attack with Orlombos, right? Now, if I attack this Kairos, they just restand with the uh they just they just get to uh uh they just get to rest the Rebecca, right? The problem is that I don't have enough to actually kill the Luffy. If I want to play, like, this Luffy is not going to restand next turn. So I don't need to kill it right now. And then I can play my 10 cast of Flamingo and be okay. So I think I am going to play this this Luffy into the uh, into the Uta. So that gives me one down to go ahead and do this. And just look for a free card. Let's go for another Luffy. So then we can just attack for fives. I'm not going to play this Guilty Soul ability just yet. Right, so I'm not going to play the Guilty Soul. That's a 2k counter that we just ate up. Okay. I'm not going to play the Guilty Soul ability because I do want to make sure that I have 10 down for next turn for us to play our 10 cost of Flamingo. Because even if the opponent attacks with everything, I'm chilling. So we can go sits here. Uh, let's not use the car action. The bad thing is that I cannot play this Uta ability either, right? Like, I, if I play the Uta ability, I'm also going to be um, doing minus one, which is going to mess up unless I take a life first. I guess I can take a life first. If I take a life first, but the opponent shouldn't be attacking life. They're just going to be attacking my rest of characters, right? This this deck is so hard to, like, pilot. Like, you really have to think about, okay, my Dawn... My dawn how much Dawn do I have? You know, because some of your cards do, do minus Dawn, but you also want to get to 10 Dawn to play your Dofi. You have all these blockers. You have to be careful, right? The best thing opponent can do for me here is attack with both for Lombos and Kairos. And then I can play Doflamingo and get full full value from the Dofi. Because the Luffy doesn't get uh, re-standed this turn, obviously, because he the opponent used his ability last turn. They could play a second Dofi here, a second Luffy here. And if I can lock them down and lock down the Luffy, so I can kind of try to set up for like a big attack. We don't have a lot of counter, by the way. And by not a lot, I mean I have zero counter. So my only protection here is a Thunder Bagua, which I really don't want to use until I get to two. Wait, wow, they just discarded. They just discarded two more Luffy's. You know what's funny? I can rest that. <laughs> I can rest that with the Uta. But again, I don't want to rest it. Like, I don't want to rest it, man. Like, I, I need them to attack my life. I need them to attack my life so that then I can go for the Thunder Bagua, giving me something back into my hand. So I'm probably sure I've been at two life. Probably one of the attacks that I blocked earlier should have been one that I took. Being at two life is critical with this deck. So, so that's a mental note for next next games with the Flamingo. Try to be at two life and just chill. Opponents trying to get their Luffy enabled again, by the way. That's why they're doing this. I'm guessing they're going to go ahead and restand, you know. So, like, I'm going to give them the guilt to Sorrow, which is a big hit for us to miss. I think we block it. I think we block it, right? Opponent has already rested two of their units. If they actually use this ability, okay, they're not. All right, all right. So they're not gonna use. All right. So this is just ten cost, right? This is just the ten cost. We won't. We won't get that. We won't get value from the Nami, unfortunately. Um. So this is just a ten cost, and all three of these guys. The opponent does have their blocker Sabo. They have another blocker here. 
what if we just go live right i don't want to i don't want to deal with their units because i'm gonna be i'm gonna be like stopping them anyways so what about we just go live let's go let's go here this utah will be able to rest one of their units How crazy am I to, to attack with the Luffy? Honestly? Why not? It's gonna force a block here. Or a 2k. I guess it can, it's gonna... Wow. Opponent goes down to zero life. I'm not scared of losing next turn, right? Because we just go like this. Boom, boom, boom. And opponent just... Cannot attack. I guess they could ten they have enough cards so they could technically get the Luffy back active again. They do have two blockers. So they do have two blockers here. We can rest one of yeah, okay. They actually are gonna do it. They're just gonna get the Luffy. Wow, okay. We can rest one of their blockers. We can rest one of their blockers. So we can rest their saddle blocker, which is the biggest one. The Orlombos and the Kiros do nothing here. We're going to have a big tank here that the opponent's going to have to defend. They went to zero life. We still have plenty of blockers. We can start using these Namis. I, like, it's so hard because like, even though I am feel like I'm in a good spot, we do have a lot of like non-counters in our hand. So like, our hand is kind of a little bit bad right now right opponent used their lombos effect to give one of my units minus four so that means that they're trying to either kill this or bounce this back somehow i guess they, like they could have the thousand swords uh the thousand worlds sorry right they could have the thousand worlds here to uh to put the luffy in the bottom of my deck they're gonna actually hmm This is so weird. This is so weird. Because I can technically rest the Uta right now. And go for the Tunde Bagua. So I could technically rest the Uta. And, re and do the minus one. No, I cannot. Because she's the target of the attack. What am I thinking? I cannot rest her. So the opponent did it that way, so I cannot actually rest there. Um, let's go no blocker, and let's just go here. Let's keep the Uta alive. Opponent can technically play another character to try to kill the Uta. For some reason, because the sim was giving me the option, like... Because he has to be... Make it a new target of the attack, huh? Huh. Interesting. So they got the Barto. They have triple blockers, so I'm not able to kill them next turn. They'll put this 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 Luffy doesn't get activated next turn. I guess the opponent's about to get seven cards. Okay. So the opponent will have the Luffy again next turn for sure, right? They get the Barto. They get rid of their Lombos. We still have this Luffy here. We can have another Luffy plus the Nami, right? So we can have this Luffy plus Nami next turn. Get myself another card plus another blocker. Opponent's gonna try to... Wait, you're not killing this Luffy, right? You're killing this Buena Fiesta, I guess. Yeah, you're killing the Buena Fiesta. And then you're trying to kill the Uta. Because they can actually attack with the Kiros into the Uta right away. Attacking the Luffy is a mistake because I will block with the Uta and rest your blocker. So you want to attack this Uta. I, I don't agree with this one. Because now I can just rest your Sabo, I guess. Ah. Hey, I have to return it down. I was like, why is it not letting me do it? Okay. I was like, why is it not letting me do it? And it's because I need to return. I was like, what the heck is going on? So that's one less blocker. Opponent only has two blockers. Has one done open. I was confused. I was like, why is it not letting me rest? It's because I need to commit the down first. I have three life. I have three life. 
opponent has to block both they cannot attack with the leader they have to block two attacks they're only gonna have three attackers next turn do i ever commit to just going all in right now do i just commit for the all in right now two blockers I have four cards. Let's go 10. Let's go 10. Okay. Opponent has another... Like, it's so risky because I can just stall out, right? I can just kind of stall out with my blockers. Do I need to rush this? Like, this game is over, right? I think this game was going to be over regardless. The opponent has to spend... A bunch of value to get that Luffy restand. Let's let's get the rematch since you know that one finished that way. Uh the fact that I got so much value from a 10 cost just kind of ended up being so good for us, right? Let's mulligan. Opponent chose to go second this time. So we will go first, so we won't get the value from you know Manami until until later on. I guess we can play this brook with the Nami to get value that way. We don't need to. That, that was a weird that was a weird game the first game right? i feel like there was a way for me to potentially win that turn but also not you know wow they got a okay so they got the sabo and they also got the leo right so sabo and leo if we play nami this turn i guess technically we can start searching right away next turn yeah sure let's go like this let's go five you always want to take this first life there's no reason to counter this right like taking life early means more cards in your hand. Yeah, we'll play the Snammy out. End the turn. Go like this. Get my two stuff back. Punk Gibson is really good, right? He can rest their, their blockers once we get to a position where we can like kill them. The Leo the Leo can kill one of my cards. Oh, they get a Coliseum as well already. That's that's cool for them. So they get a Colosseum. Are they gonna use this Rebecca ability? Is my is my question. So there was two King Guns that went to the trash, by the way. So that, I think that makes me feel very confident that I mean that makes me feel like I shouldn't I shouldn't need to play around this card, right? Like I probably shouldn't need to play around this this card. Just because you already you already opponent already showed us two that went to the deck. They have six cards now, right? Yeah, they have six cards. So there you go. They have to be the, the, the ability. Um, if we search with Nami first. Let's search with Nami first. Uh, let's get this Buena Fiesta. Because I kind of want to look for... I kind of want to look for Luffy. I might opt here to just play the Brook. And go for a more aggressive strategy. So Brook Buena Fiesta instead of the Uta. I don't think I need the Uta just yet. Oh, they got the Thousand Swords. Okay, so we lose the Nami. At least we get Bali from her. Uh, let's th that's that Luffy, right? So next time we can play the Luffy out. And we end the turn. Now, we don't have that 10 cost of Flamingo, and we already saw at least one go to the bottom of our deck. We'll be able to play the Luffy plus the Uta next turn from the Luffy ability. When it gets the Kiros, they get to kill our Buena Fiesta. They have eight cards in their in their deck, in their graveyard already. So when that Luffy comes down, it's going to be a problem. Uh, this Coliseum is also going to be an issue, right? They get Kiros. Ooh, they're going to attack with the Kairos right away. Okay. It makes sense. Um, we could just go Punk Gibson right now and rest their blocker. I'm not opposed to this. I'm not opposed to this. I don't mind getting rid of the blocker right now. There's our big boy. All right, so there's our big boy. Attacking this doesn't matter because opponent can just rest the Coliseum or the... Uh, or the or the Rebecca, right? So that Kyrus is gonna stay on the field like forever. 
So I guess let's just go here, just kill the Adeo. Get rid of the blocker right now. Then attack with the Brook into the Rebecca. Just kind of put pressure into them. Okay. We can go here, play the Uta, end the turn. The fun thing here is that we, uh, we, we're we still not able to play the Doflamingo, right? But we can technically use the Uta once and still be able to get to 10 down, you know. Like, because right now we're going to be at 9 down, right? So, so, oh. So even if we use the Uta once, we'll be able to get to that to that uh, that ten down when we need to. The spider web can you know save one of my units. Hmm. Because the problem is that my my blockers are getting killed by their by 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 their units being able to attack into my active characters anyways, right? So it's not really doing a lot. What is your choice here? So they're gonna go ahead and attack the Luffy. I don't wanna do the Uta ability just yet, but if I do it right now, I'll be able to rest the Kiros, which means that the opponent doesn't really have any other attackers. So if we go like this, use the Karachan, return the Dawn, rest the Kiros, then go for here and re my girl and we resolve the attack. Opponent can use the Luffy ability if they so choose to, but they will have to send back seven cards, right? And they will use it. And then we can still go for that 2k counter on the shopper. I'm a little bit upset. I haven't gotten any life, right? So I haven't gotten any life, which is a little bit frustrating. I definitely don't want to get rid of this Luffy, though. No, like, I'm, I'm so low on resources just because I haven't gotten any life, right? So they got the Gaiads here. Um, should we just kill this Luffy? Should we just kill this Luffy or should we continue trying to go for life? Because I'm not gonna be able to use the Uta ability anymore. If I wanna actually get to the 10, to the 10 dawn that I need for the flamingo. Ah uh, wow, 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 wow. So four for the second Uta. That gives me with four down open. We can go seven, seven, seven. Like this, this doesn't get to attack unless the opponent has four more cards, right? So that's why I'm thinking I might actually choose to go and kill the Rebecca, like go for life instead. But I hate the fact that I'm giving them so many cards. The fact that I'm giving them so many cards when I myself are kind of low on resources feels really bad for me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is, this is rough. This is rough. This is rough. Let's kill that Luffy now. Let's kill that Luffy now. I'm not opposed to... Okay, they, they gave it to me. If they have a second Luffy, they have a second Luffy. That's fine. We'll go five here. We'll play that second Uta. And then we'll get two more for Spiderweb. If they have a second Luffy, I think I'm fine with this, right? So yeah, so we'll play the second Uta. No reason to attack into them anymore. I guess we can attack with our Luffy, right? We can attack with our Luffy. Regardless, the opponent will be able to get the Colosseum value, being able to attack my active units. All I have is spider web, right? So attacking with the Luffy is okay because we can always restand it with the spider web. I think opponent will need to have a second Luffy for me to really be a threat here. So if they have the second Luffy, I guess they can use... Ooh, ooh, okay. Thousand, thousand worlds? Okay, so that's a thousand worlds. So good. there goes my Luffy. Good thing I attacked with it first, right? We were able to take a life out of the opponent before that happened. Uh, this this Doflamingo doesn't even seem like a good play here. Opponent literally just has a bunch, a bunch of little weenies that don't really matter to me. So that kind of that kind of sucks. 
Like, I kind of want to play this Doflamingo, but at the same time, like, it's not really doing much for us. I have four lives still. Like, <laughs> I'm so that I'm so low on cards compared to them because they can continue join cards, right? I think we let we, we we let them have the brook. I think we're gonna let them have the brook. I might just have to play this ten cards Dolphy just like that. Like I might literally just have to play this ten cards Dolphy just like that. I guess we can always attack with the Utas. Have the Utas be like good attackers into that, and just play the third, play this, play this, play the third Uta. How crazy is that, right? Four. The listen with yeah. What if we just go seven seven? What if we just go? What if we just go seven seven seven, and then play this the next Uta? I'm not. I'm not afraid of dying, right? So like. I'm not afraid of resting my blockers, and because the opponent can attack them anyways, it doesn't matter. So we go seven again. This is a world where I just, you know, yeah, okay, no, because they have the blocker. I was gonna say this is a world where I just go all in, but I did forget that they have the blocker, so that doesn't matter. So if I go all in, the king always just block, right? So then we play the net suta, we finish the turn, and that's game. Like opponent messed up, by the way. Opponent uh, didn't mean to pass; they just pressed. They just press uh, enter too quickly, but I think this game was already over anyways, just because we we have like we have everything that we need and the opponents are still alive. Let's go one more game. Let's go one more game because I kind of want to practice this matchup a lot anyways. So this kind of works for me. The opponent chose to go second again. I'll keep this hand just because we have this uh, this Nami. You know what's the funny thing about sugar? That because the opponent cannot attack with the Rebecca, uh, I guess okay. They, they have the they have the they have another Rebecca here. So I was gonna say like you can always just get so much value from it, right? From the sugar. I guess we can go like this. What if we just go like this? What if we just go like this? Just attack the Rebecca. And any unit that they play, we can always rest it. And because the opponent's leader cannot attack, they are not able to actually kill my sugar in return. This also allows me to just get value from Nami as soon as I play her. Now, the Kyrios is a problem if the opponent plays Kyrios, but literally any unit that they play, this is what makes Sugar so good against the, these leaders that cannot attack. Like, the opponent doesn't have a board here, right? At, Sugar also cut, so we can go like this, right? We can go like this. Obviously, it doesn't matter because the opponent has the, uh, like, Opponent can kill it now with their Leo, and that's fine. It doesn't matter because the Curious, we can't kill the Curious anyways. If they wanna, if they wanna kill this girl here, it doesn't matter. So yeah, so they, that that's the game. I think opponent knows like they can kill the Sugar, but then I can just kill the Leo next turn, right? Let, let's see, let's think about how this game was gonna go, right? They kill the Sugar, I kill the Leo, we play the Nami, get get a card from the Nami right and then we just start building up our hand and like this matchup i think is one of the best matches that you can find with dofi right because this this rebecca decks they do play the thousand swords and they sometimes play the red rock as well but they're not they that's the only blue cards that they play they're not playing stuff like mihawk or anything else that's bouncing stuff back to your hand or back to your deck right like against blue usually you do really bad against blue because if you're going against like a if you're going against a bb deck or you're going against a crocodile deck that's a blue like or, or even the blue do flamingo or any of those other blue decks they usually play mihawks they play red rocks they play thousand swords so they just slowly control your board by bouncing all your namis bouncing all your luffy's all your do flamingos to the bottom of your deck against rebecca even though she's blue deck it's not as bad because they only really again usually only play like four thousand swords total or red rock combination of both they, they're not really playing much more than that that you need to really worry about and they are relying so much on attacking that that because the coliseum is kind of forcing them to kind of attack into my characters it means that you're always going to potentially get value from your 10 cards of flamingo to just rest their whole board and just kind of go from there which ends up being really valuable so 
yeah, I mean, you got to see two games and then this extra little thing here of us trying to learn how to play this deck. So yeah, uh, tomorrow we'll come back with more Doflamingo gameplays. So hope you enjoyed to these games. And if you did, make sure to like the reload and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day.